You already know all things sports and entertainment, and we can completely disagree, but let's get this conversation started. So, Kansas State Wildcats went up against Colorado Buffaloes, another sold-out game for the University of Colorado. And uh, salute to Coach Prime. I disagree with some of the stuff he does, but salute to him on uh, continuously having sold-out games. But he went up against 17 State Kansas State Wildcats, which many people had them losing. You know, some... I had I got them winning six games, and prior to the game, they were 4-1, but unfortunately they lost and they lost kind of at the last minute they look like they were losing and then they end up coming back colorado scored 14 points in the fourth quarter kansas state only scored seven but that seven is what counted but as far as player stats for colorado i mean shador went 30 34 40 388 yards three touchdowns one interception and of course Travis Hunter was out there doing his thing, but then he ended up getting hurt, and uh, I can't remember if he ended up finished playing. I don't think so, but I don't know. I know. I, I look. Let me say this about Travis: it is very commendable that he is playing both sides of the ball. I like it. In my opinion, he is the Heisman Trophy winner. If we talking about player, just strictly player, he is the Heisman Trophy finalist. In my opinion, if you ended the season now, but on the flip side. When you play power forward division one football and you constantly taking those hits, at some point you're gonna get hurt. There's a good chance you're gonna get hurt on defense alone. Um, didn't Shiloh break his forearm a couple couple games ago? So that can easily happen. And then even with even on offense, I mean, it's just one helmet, one helmet to helmet contact, one helmet to the leg, one helmet to the knee. Accidentally, it's over. Luckily, it don't look like it'll be something that you know he'll be out for uh, for weeks at a time about, but. I'm wondering now will Coach Prime kind of scale back just a little bit and um uh and see. But I can't remember what quarter it was in. Maybe it was the second quarter, but he went to the locker room. But overall, I mean, Coach Colorado, they're having a, a pretty good season. I think the Nebraska debacle was a wake-up call for them. You can see that the offensive line is trying to block more, even Shador. He's even more comfortable. Travis Hunter is just going off. And um, even other players, running back stepping up. The defense, the de they, they got a pretty good defense. They got a pretty good defense. Uh, <laughs> I still think Coach Prime going to leave Colorado. I still got them winning six games. But don't be surprised if they win eight games, man. This ain't a, may, maybe Nebraska, because what's it? Um, who they coach? Matt Rule. May, maybe it's just the way he, he's recruiting and he got uh, Dylan Raiola. But overall, they're looking pretty solid. Like I said, I got them going to a bowl game, but, you know, we'll have to see. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. I mean, Colorado, like I said, Colorado, they're looking pretty strong. I mean, they they fell short to Kansas State. But whenever, whenever it's a close game, just like last year when they lost to USC, you could be cool with that. You know what I mean? But when you getting beat or when they was up against Stanford last year, what, 29? Uh, was it nothing? It was something like that. And Shador tweeting out merchandise. Did they come back and lose? Man, you can't do that. So, yeah, I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.